Make this the best year ever with Read and Write. Getting a confident start to the new school year is important for every student, especially those with reading and writing difficulties, learning disabilities, or English as a second language. Whether on a PC, Mac, iPad, or mobile device, there's a Read and Write product to suit your needs. The Read and Write family of products can help your struggling reader or writer be more confident and more successful than ever. Read and Write Gold is text-to-speech software that provides tools for reading, writing, studying, and research, while students work within the common and applications they use every day. Read and Write for Google provides support tools for Google Docs, PDFs, and EPUBs in Chrome on PCs, Macs, and Chromebooks to make Google Apps for Education accessible. And I Read Write makes reading easier and ensures accurate writing as students use their iPad for school, work, or leisure. Give students the support they need wherever and whenever with Read and Write. Try it today! To learn more about how Read and Write can help your struggling students, visit texthelp.com or call 1-888-248-0652. Again, that number is 1-888-248-0652. If you have students with IEPs, be sure to take advantage of the Read and Write Gold IEP Special. Welcome to the AT Tips Cast, where we investigate how to provide more options to help all learners. I'm your host, Chris Bouguet. This is episode 136, recorded on November 24th, 2014. Learning can happen in many ways. Sometimes, adults organize structured activities that have a predictable outcome. Teachers plan the activity, knowing exactly the objectives and learning targets. Do this, learn that. This structured type of learning is often desired by educators because they have control over the outcome and because there's the appearance of being able to easily measure the learning taking place. That said, learning can also occur organically. Humans are constantly learning new pieces of information and how to apply them. People learn and grow through the experiences they have without the requirement of some sort of structured intervention. Learning just happens by participating in life's experiences such as communicating with others, making or creating something, experimentation and exploration, and play. Recently, my children came home asking if they could explore a new game on their iPad. Can we play this game, Dad? Can we play this game, Dad? Can we play this game, Dad? Can we play this game? They had heard about the game from some friends, became intrigued, and wanted to investigate what the game was all about. Fueled by curiosity, we downloaded the app to their iPads and jumped into a new world. After a few independent play sessions, the kids were primed and ready to teach me how to play. I recorded their entire tutorial as they guided me into the inner workings of the game. We looked at the different learning opportunities inherently built into the game. Tell them the game, Dad. Why don't you tell them? After all, you're the ones who taught me. It's AT tip number 448, Spirit Animals by Scholastic. The app is free and works as a companion to a series of books written by an array of authors, such as Garth Nix, Brandon Mull, Maggie Stiefvater, and more. One doesn't need to have read the books to play the game, but playing the game might increase one's interest in reading the books. I'm reading the books now. Explore the world for yourself at spiritanimals.scholastic.com. I encourage anyone listening to download the app and explore along with us. Play as you listen. Although this is just an analysis of one game, many of the questions asked during our exploration are universal. You might ask these questions of any app, game, or tool you're considering for implementation with students. Now, on to the world of Erdos to find out if you have a spirit animal. So guys, we are playing spirit animals. Yeah. All right, so I just downloaded it. You have it on your iPads already? Yes. And you've played it before, right? Yeah. Yes. And how much does this app cost? Free. It's free, right? Mm-hmm. And it has to do with the books, Spirit Animals? Yes. That is by Scholastic? Yes. Okay, so I've gone in and I've created an account, right? You have to create an account? Yes. With a username and password? Yes. And you get to choose, mm-hmm. oh, I'm going to be a boy. Right? I'm mm-hmm. setting up my character. It says create your hero. So I'm going to... Okay. You know you can change his hair color. What, what color eyes? Sh- I like his green eyes. That's kind of like my hairstyle. Let's see what kind of hairstyle. 
Yeah, that's good. The, no. the one before that. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's fine. Totally with the spiky yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, hair color. Come on, bright orange. They have pink. I like the white. They have pink. No. <laughs> that's too light. <laughs> there, bright orange. Okay, and name. Now I get to pick a name, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to pick... What should my name be? Okay. La. That one's good. How about Leaf Cunning Clash? Yeah. You like that? <clears throat> yeah. Leaf Cunning Actually, Clash. I actually like... Um, Leaf Dagger. Um, you like Leaf Cunning yeah. Dagger? Yeah. Leaf Cunning <coughs> Dagger. Mm. Okay. No. Dark Dagger. Dark Dagger. Ooh, Ooh Dark Leaf Dagger is dagger. good. That's Very nice. good. Yeah, Dark Dagger. All right. And then it'll oh, give you a mine? tutorial. So, Spirit Animals, I'm loading. Yes. Tutorial. Yeah, well, can I see what your guys looks like? Um. What's your character? Mine looks name? just like me. Does he? What's yours, Max? Doesn't look like me at all. Emmett Moonhammer. Moonhammer. Emmett uh, Moonhammer. Yeah, I like Emmett. <laughs> And what's your, did you make a girl or a boy? Girl. And I'm already level 10. So, okay, so I'm a character in a magical world? So, yes. make him talk to you. Okay, and I'm talking to a person named Keith? Uh-huh. He's a green cloak. And he said he'll explain what's going on, okay? So, and I use my finger to walk around the screen? Yes, and you need And I follow this arrow? Yeah. So what's my mission? Oh my girl. You're supposed to protect the... It's her. You're supposed to protect oh, the, um... Yeah. Hold on one second, Tucker. What's your girl's name? <laughs> Natalie Sunbrook. And then level three. You're my level tiger's two. name is this. Sweet. And look at her blue hair. I love that. Uh-huh. And, um... How, how come you guys have tigers and I don't? Because you have to pick your animal. Oh, yeah. okay. It, it'll let you pick your animal so far. You can oh. have a fox or one of these. Okay. Tiger. And so, so I, here I am and I'm meeting with these people. And then what happens? And then you can, um, and then it'll explain all about it. And then just walk around collecting gold. Hello, young one. I'm Olven, leader of the Green Cloaks. I'm sorry that we have brought you so far, but times are desperate. Gotcha. Okay. Very few in air dust will ever summon a spirit animal. It's a wonderful gift, but a rare one. In the Nori believes you are one of the chosen few. Don't be nervous. All you have to do is drink from the nectar of... N Nanami. It just takes one sip. Here. So this text on the screen, there's no way to have that played out loud, right? It w it was on mine, but I don't know what's wrong with yours. Oh, it was playing out loud? Maybe because I had my ringer turned off. Hold on. There's oh. my music. Oh, but I... Ah! Do it. But it did play oh, out lo loud for you? On Fox. yours? Yes. It did play out loud for yours? Yes. Okay. Now I get to choose a tiger or a fox? Yeah. Oh, and if you purchase the books... Looks like you can have more animals. I wonder if they have these books at the library. Yeah, they do. Huh. Name yeah, your spirit man. animal. That's yeah. weird, because me and Maggie have some tigers, and you picked a fox. Yeah, I'm Zipper. Pick Zipper the fox. I think mine is red. I think mine is... What? What was my name, Tucker? Oh, here it is. Congratulations, young one. Now it does read it out loud. Yes. Gotcha. Does it read all of them out loud, or just these tutorial ones? Um... It just reads the tutorial ones. Next. Oops. Your spirit animal is your lifelong partner. You work together to develop your bond, and you can unlock incredible power. I'm going to go in my house, okay? You know, I think it's good that there's, uh, that the text can be read out loud. Because yes. if you were a student that had trouble reading this, well, like Maggie, you're not reading all of these words yet. You're still learning to read these words, right? But you could hear it so you knew what they were saying. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They have a terrible substance. When fed to animals, they warps them into mad beasts. Oh, because this is the animals are, they eat something and they turn bad. Mm -hmm. And so our job is to rescue them. Uh -huh. But our spirit animals can't um, turn bad because they have too much bond with us already. Oh, good. Okay, so... Dad, want me to tell you something? That's cool. I want to ask you a question first. There's solo play, or you can play with others? Yes. Have you ever played with others? No. Mm -hmm. But we're going to try that here today. Yes. Will you help the green cloaks? I know. These aren't read out loud, are they? No. You can't, so you have to be able to read these answers. Mm -hmm. That's a bummer. All right. It'd be honored to join you. I, if you think I can help, uh... <laughs> I'd be honored to join you, because yeah. then you would, because you would, because if you hit, uh, or, um, if you need it, then you, then you would have, um, then you would. By the four fallen, quickly, arm yourself. Want me to show you something, Dad? Tap on the weapon to pick them up. So, no, I don't want you to show me, I want you to tell me with okay, your words. Okay, so go over there, 
Oh, is that it? Oh, he's attacking. Don't worry, you have unlimited health. Look, you Another just feed... Another one approaches. Quick, strike it from afar with your bow. Okay. To engage an opponent with your bow, tap on them with two fingers. First, select the skill icon. Down here, this is the skill icon? Yeah, mm -hmm. go! Pet it! And then aim it towards the snake. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. I charged it. Incredible. After you weaken the animals, they were completely cleansed. You freed them. Gotcha. So the guy, the idea is to save the spirit animals. Yeah. Yes, Maggie, I'm listening. Uh, so go over here. Okay, so that's the armory. I can and come then back to that. And keep going here. Uh-huh. And then press that. Your room? That's your house. Yeah, that's your house. Now, where's your house? This is my house. Same place? Yeah, same place. So and watch what you can do. It says, visit your room to take care of your spirit animal and decorate your living quarters. Okay? I can... I can... This game is kind is of like Is that like a special run. quest? Oh, it's a temple run mini yes. game. Okay. Okay, so this mini quest is like Temple Run? Yeah. Yes. Where your character is running? Like Temple Run. Yes, okay. except it goes on for infinity. Really? Until you, mm -hmm. until you get hurt? Yeah, until you get uh, hurt. Uh-huh, but you get two lives. The, um, the spirit animal helps you. It's, a, it's like an extra life. Okay, so I'm running, and I'm collecting something. What are these, big coins? No, no coins. they're just coins. Okay, that didn't go so well. <laughs> so you said to go over here to feed Mags? Okay, so he's going to come over, watch that. Uh-huh. He's eating. eating. Yeah, he's eating. Kipper. Zipper. Zipper is eating. Kipper is a dog. Zipper is this animal. Okay, oh, he wants to be petted? Yeah. So, so grab that brush. And then bring it over? Yeah. And then rub it up and down on him? Yeah. Or anyway. Until what? Does something happen, or do I just stop when I feel tired? You just stop Aha, I got a daily bonding bonus. What are the coins? Tell me about the coins. The coins you can spend at the shop. So you collect gold? Yes. Gotcha. And it has a number next to the gold. It says 330 on mine. How much gold do you have, Maggie? 2, 11, 0, 2. Right, so 1,122. Not 22, 0, 2. So 1,100. 2. Yeah. Two. Now what are tokens? Um... Because it has I, I have 15 tokens. I have 11, so I and I have... 1,002? I have 8,757 coins. You might see back here. That's your clothing. And if you get special clothing, like if you go on quests, then you'll get special clothing, and you'll it'll glow like mine. And then I can change my outfit? Yes. And it gives me, like, um, extra skills or protection or something? Yes. When it's glowing, you can change the color by going to the merchant and go down to um, dyes. Oh, so you can change the color. Yes, because each one comes with a separate color. How do I get out of here, Mags? Where do I find the quests? Um, you go over here and... No, wait. You go over here. So go over here. Quests. Oh, uh, that says quests? Yeah, click quests. How do you know it says quests? Because I sound it out. Gotcha. Okay, can you come to the quests so we can all be there together? So I want to play group okay. quests. Yeah, right? so, okay, and so I'm going to create a group. All right, you're creating a group. You have a choice of either solo quest or group quest. Uh -huh. And then you hit join group. Well, how about invite friend? I don't have any friends. Oh, because we're not friends yet. Right. So you can create friends too. All right, but let's just do join group. It says, you can add friends from the add a friend section. Let's become friends on this thing. Yeah. All right. Invite friend. All right. So we're adding friends, Meg. Yeah. Okay. So we know that there's some math involved, right? Yeah. Yes. With counting the money and earning the experience points, right? Yeah. You, move, you earn experience and then you move up a level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you move up a level, do you get more skills? Yes. So you can do more things? Yes. And there's some animal care parts of the game, right? Mm -hmm. Where you, what do you have to do, Mags? Feed them yeah. and brush them yeah. and play and, with them? And you also love them. Like, so you um, put your finger on them and they're like hearts are coming out of them. And then there's chatting. So I could chat to somebody. I could say hello. But do you not? Because we don't know these people. Good point. They could be anybody, right? Yeah. So an incoming invitation popped up on the screen. And then I could play. All right, you're with me. All right, Commander Bulldog. I see you, I see you. I have, I have all these power-ups that will amaze you. It'll probably make your fox and my tiger go cuckoo crazy. So here we go. Now you need to help me because I'm slowed. It's amazing what these things can do. 
so one of the features of this game is that it says blighted anaconda. So it gives you adjectives before the... Oh. So you're learning the names of animals. Yes. You're learning adjectives that go in front of them. Mm-hmm. You're learning to pay attention to multiple things at a time. We're working collaboratively to have the same objective, which is to beat these animals and to rescue them. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I'm not. I am, I'm at 78 of 78. you got to stay alive for 27 more seconds before I come back. Mm, like that will ever be There's hard. the chat, so you can learn like, typing skills. So basically you're learning to multitask and do and learn and, and impress your teacher if you're a kindergartner all at the same time. Why impress your teacher? Because they wouldn't... If it wasn't for this game, you might not get an A on your animal test of how much animals there are in the world. You think it helps you learn animals? Yes. Types of animals? I agree with that. Because once you defeat them, you you can have the um, thing up top that says what kind of animals you defeated. So, Jeffrey, you've been playing this game for a while now? Um, no. How did you hear about it in the first place? Um, my friend AJ at school. He told you about it? He said you can go on missions and boss battles. So I checked it out two days ago. It was actually pretty cool when I checked it out, but... I wonder if you could play with AJ. Um, You both knew you were going online at the same time. Yeah. So this teaches you how to manage your resources too, right? Yeah. So manage your resources, work together, reading, patience. A lot of good skills here. Practice. Hey guys, I have a trick. Oh, oh, giant spider! Look at that spider. What's your trick, Max? Um, go so go to the bells. What? So hit it and then go to the bells and then ring it. I yeah, can, that's how these guys come out on top and they shoot arrows to help us. I missed. All right, we gotta fight the spider together. Yeah, tell me about the quest that you've gone on. Um, most of them were boss battles. They're boss battles. They're, well, no, most of them that I've went on were boss battles. Because that, that's what I like to do, defeat bosses. Nice. Just going alone, not knowing what you'll find. Like Tell me, I want to know what you do find. You go into a um, quest, are like, they all the same, or are there different tasks you have to accomplish? You, you have to... They're, in boss battles, then they're basically the same. In regular um, quests, you just, you just... You never know which animals you'll find, like... Um, me, but are uh, all the reindeer. quests the same? We have to fight animals, or is um, there yes. other things you have to unlock? Things, yeah. or are there well, traps, or do you have to first uh, of all, puzzles? Are there puzzles you have to all, do? First of all, before you even go on the quest, you have to check your, uh, you have to check how much stuff you have. And I only have 130 gold left, so I'm learning about buying and selling, and how much money I have left. I could also, so I have the choice here of categories. I can buy equipment. <laughs> The table thing is really good. Not, not, not. And that's to uh, decorate my house? Yeah. And that's what you were doing? Yeah, that's really... The bowling is definitely really good for your fox. Oh, that helps your fox. In the yeah. barber shop, I can change my hair? Yes. He, lo- he loves to play with it. And the dye shop is where I can change the color of my... Change the color of my armor. All right, I'm, cl- I'm logging out, guys. Hold on. Okay. I need to do... I'm something. just going to decorate my home a little. And then I'm going to log out, too. But this is not like Minecraft where you just log out and then everybody house. else logs out. I need to get my house guys and do something. Add book means you enter the code. Enter the 10 code. Oh, I got you. You can't read the book from here. Although there is a link download books on iTunes. So it might be fun. We should check out one of these books then, huh? Yeah. These books are written by different people. This one's written by Brandon Mall. This one by Maggie Stiefetter. This one by Garth Nix and Sean Williams. Do you know we have a whole series of books by Garth Nix down in our downstairs on mm-hmm. our bookshelf? This mm-hmm. one's by Shannon Hale. Pretty neat. Yeah. The shark one, Max. Look at that. Against mm-hmm. the tide. We should check these out. All right, thanks, guys. Would you recommend this for people to play? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. If we had to rate it from 1 to 10, what would you say? Uh, I'd say 10 the- being the best, 1 being the worst. Um... I'd say about in the nine and a half. Yeah? Well, why would you give it a nine and a half? Um, actually, I would give it a ten. A ten? Yeah. What I about you? I would give it a five. Yeah? 
Why yeah. would you give it a five? No, I'll give it a seven. Will this help people become better learners? Yes. Yeah, there's lots of different, it's got, practices lots of different skills, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, guys. That was fun. Let's play yeah. again. Goodbye, everyone. big thank you to everyone out in Arizona and Indiana who I got to see recently. Back in September, I was honored to be the keynote speaker for a two-day session in Flagstaff, where we worked to build capacity of new and existing assistive technology teams. It was an amazing experience, and I hope I get to go back in the future. Speaking of amazing experiences, I was privileged to return to the Patents Conference this year out in Indiana earlier in November. Beth Poss and I conducted a session on Twitter 101 and then another session on data collection techniques. If either of those sound interesting to you, we'll be doing them again at ATIA 2015 this January in Orlando. Technology-driven data collection using digital tools to document progress is a one-day pre-conference offered on Wednesday, January 28th. If you'd like to learn how to streamline your data collection and improve methods for analyzing that data, come spend the day with us in sunny Orlando, Florida. Learn more and register at bit.ly slash data ATIA15. That's bit.ly slash data ATIA15. Of course, I'll have links to everything over at attipscast.com. Until next time, may all your interventions be inclusive, may all your strategies be supportive, and may you all have fun exploring your inner spirit animal. We'll make another one next week. Make another what? Podcast. <laughs> well, this one's not out yet. I have to edit it, edit it down and do it, so it'll, it'll take me a while to get this one done. Booyah!